Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we are going to use Google Slides and I'm going to look at the presenter view. Now the presenter view is unique within Google Slides as it provides me a number of audience participation tools. One of my favorites being the Q&A functionality. So let's get started. I have a template open. Now this is the Science Fair project template. This is part of Google Slides and there are a number of slides already available for me to just go through. Now I am going to present this slide to an audience and so I want to use the audience participation tools. Now before you click on present, make sure you navigate to that drop down arrow. Once you've clicked on the drop down, you can present using the presenter view. Let's go ahead and click on that. This will open up your presentation in two separate windows. One is the window with the presentation that is right here. Now this can be presented into a Google Meet or you can use this on an external device, another display or even send it to a projector. The presenter view tile or window is on the left hand side. Now here you can see I have my speaker notes and as I go through these slides, I can read my speaker notes. Now these speaker notes will only be visible to me. The audience, they will simply see the projected window. If I want to activate my audience tools, I have to go to the left hand option here, audience tools. So let's click on that. And here we can now start using the Q&A. Simply click on start new. Once you've done that, you will see that the projected view has changed. They now have a link at the top. And whenever someone navigates to that link, they can ask questions. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to open up a second demo user, navigate to this link and ask a question. This is my second demo user and they will go to that link. As they can see here, they have an overview of all the questions already asked. Now, at the moment, there are no questions. So I'm going to ask a question. How does this work? I can ask it as myself or I can ask it anonymously. I'm going to tick this and then I will ask it anonymously. If I don't tick this, then everybody will see my name. I can click on submit. And as soon as I've submitted this question, everybody else will see the questions. They can now upvote or downvote these questions. So let's go ahead and upvote. Back to the presenter view. Our presenter will see that this person has asked a question. They will also see the upvotes and downvotes. If they no longer want to receive new questions, they can always go to the top and toggle the switch. This will turn off the Q&A, but all questions asked before you've turned it off will remain there. And then you can simply reactivate that once you've answered all those questions. Now on the presenter view, I can also highlight that question. So this is what everyone sees. Now let's open up our presenter page and click on present. Now everyone watching my presentation sees that question highlighted on the main screen. They also see who's asked this question because they did not choose to ask it anonymously. I can now answer the question during my meeting during my presentation and then as soon as I finish that I will hide the question and we go back to our presentation. Once we are done with everything you can turn this off and the questions are closed. And I hope you found this helpful. If you did make sure to subscribe to the channel. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.